All right, so yesterday was the first actual proper summit finish in La Vuelta España, and we had some decisive time gaps. J Vine won, Remco and Enrique Mas quite close behind. Juan Ayuso, big performance, made a video on him years ago. He is very, very good. Um, Roglic looked not in top condition. Ineos, Carapaz had a shocker, but the rest of them were all re. Jay Henley, okay. Yates uh, got excited, but you know, all finished same time. So anyway, we're going to have a look at some of these numbers um, and we're going to see how many numbers they did because there were some pretty, pretty big numbers yesterday. And finally, a lot of numbers to actually analyze. So this is most of the climb. It's not 100% all of the climb. But you can see here, J-Vine, 440. Ben O'Connor didn't have a power meter on because I think he must have changed bikes. He's got a puncture. Gino Maida, he's got numbers. Team and Aaronsman's got numbers as well. I don't understand 100% uh, who Miguel Super Lopez is because he lost a lot of time. So um, I guess he didn't. Maybe 13 seconds is okay. He maybe lost that on the last part. But, but anyway... We're going to go have a look at all these numbers because it's it's pretty interesting to see Kurs is further down as well, um, like 345. Um, so, yeah, we'll, we'll go to Jay Vines first because um, oh, that's Remco, sorry. Go to Jay Vines first just because he actually won the stage. So, all in all, five hours, decent, uh, 320 normalized, so nothing um, bonkers for the normalized. But that's not too surprising normally because um, it was like on the hills, you've got the downhills where nothing happens. Um, but you can see, like, this first bit here is not too hard. 208 normalized for three hours, which for them lot at 70 kilos is, is not too many uh, normalized numbers, to be honest. Um, the peak normalized we're all going to see are going to come in the, the second half of the stage. Um, and that's basically really just taken out because of that climb. You can see that the, the last couple efforts really, really spike it. But anyway, we'll go through the climbs just how far. So 4.3, nothing crazy. People say maybe J. Vine weighs a little bit less. Maybe he does, maybe he doesn't. Um, I'm not, I'm not so sure. Four point nine, um, and then again five point seven up for for seventeen. So, pretty pretty decent numbers to be fair. This climb five point seven for twenty is or almost twenty is is not, not shabby at all. Decent bam seventeen hundred bam almost is is pretty quick. Um, but it's this last climb. So you can see the sort of the main climb starts here, uh, which was six watts per kilo for twenty eight minutes. But you can see there's a lot of drafting. Um, and then there's some downhills, some uphills. So you can see it did 6.1 for the 23 minutes. I think Nychaka quoted 6.6, .6, but I don't really know. Um, I had a chat, apparently their numbers are very accurate and they correlate with Jumbo Visma's number, Palmier, but sometimes I do think they're a little bit out, especially because they do, they like calculate according to the book guy's 60, but obviously like not everyone's 60, so then it, it slightly messes it up. Um, but anyway, you can see this is the sort of more part after the attack, 6.3 for 13 minutes. That is a lot. 460 watts, I mean, that is bonkers, 18.25, bam, that is very quick, like, that's why you get a gap, because not many people are going to be closing down that, um, and then you can see this last part again after the downhill, again, ridden at sort of 6.1 watts per kilo, um, a little bit, I mean, just look at the speed, 24k an hour, 7%, I mean, that is absolutely rapid, um, that is very, very quick, so, all in all, a super, super performance from Jay Vine. Um, unexpected, not really. He whacked out like 6.4 in Norway. Um, so pretty impressive. 450 watts for 23 minutes is, is big. Um, and obviously there's this bit here where there was some downhill. So that was sort of what it was, took to win the stage. Remco was obviously 15 seconds back. Probably did less watts per kilo because he was drafting a bit. Um, but obviously he's lied to some probably, you know, similar ish six six point one or so. Enrique Mass, good performance as well. Um you could say, you know, for a half an hour climb you'd expect it to be more like six point three, six point four, but I think um the sort of preceding state uh, climb of five point seven made it a bit harder. And also um there was some downhill. So Ben O'Connor here, you can see like his numbers are all there and then they will disappear at the end, which is a shame. But we can have a look at Team and Aaronsman's data as well. His is always also this is Gina Maida. Um, Gino Aronsman's data is always really good. Um, for for Gino Mader, it makes more sense. You can see that, like, you know, he did six watts per kilo for thirty one minutes, which sort of makes sense because he lost about a minute and a bit, and obviously is lighter. But you can see in the wheels here, like, they were going only twenty one k an hour. J. Ryan was going like twenty two, did six point one in the wheels. You can see there in the wheels just because of that, like, how spiky all the power data is. 
Um, well, obviously, like when they're on their own, their last spike, you can see Gino Mayo is in the wheels the whole time. But yeah, pretty pretty good performance from him. Um, and then if we look at Timon Aronsman as well, his data is normally really, really accurate as well. Um, his power meters seem to read well. Uh, Sepkus is a little bit further behind as well. He's like, that's like sort of 5.7 for him. Not a crazy performance from Sepkus. You probably expect a bit more, to be honest, from the big man. Um, but again, here you can see with Timon Aronsman, like this bit here is... is um, not crazy, crazy watts. Like the beginning of it wasn't paced as hard, and then after J Vine attacked it, you can see it got a lot harder. Here's like four hundred and sixty watts, six point six watts per kilo. So maybe like not the most accurate, but um, in this sense, because you'd expect it to be a little bit less if he was catching. Um, because his numbers seem pretty nuclear, six point two. But you know, maybe the pami is off today, or the weight is different. I mean, that's the thing with these; it's always tough to tell. But Nonetheless, very big performance from Team and Aronsman as well, looking really, really good. Um, I've always been quite excited about him, to be honest. He's, I made a video on him like 2020 about his numbers because he did six and a half watts per kilo in training for 20, and I was like, that is pretty strong, especially when it's like 460 watts because he's a big boy. Um, but yeah, that's the sort of level you've got to be at. Um, you know, minute 40 down, you're still doing six and a bit watts per kilo. These guys obviously doing more like 6.3 or so. Um, so, especially at Remco, because he's quite small. So, yeah, those are the numbers for the day. And uh, cheers for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.